Hi, I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and welcome to my quilt block series. In each of these videos I'm going to show you how to make a different block and they're all going to measure 12 inches. I hope you like this video, if you do click the like button and please let me know in the comment section below what other videos you'd like me to make. Let's get quilting. In this video I'm going to show you how to make the Morning Star quilt block. And these will be instructions to make a 12 inch block. And if you'd like to know how to use this block in a quilt, please watch to the end of this video where I've got some illustrations to show you how to use it. This unit is made up of hourglass units with three fabrics and I have used this before in some of my blocks and the Mary's triangle unit. I haven't used this before so this will provide instructions on how to make these. In background fabric you'll need two three and a half by five inch rectangles. One five and three quarter inch square. In fabric A you're going to need one four and a half inch square in fabric A you will need two five and a half by four and a half inch squares in fabric B you will need two two and a half by five inch rectangles and you will need one five and three quarter inch square. In fabric C, you will need two five and three quarter inch squares. Making the hourglass unit with three fabrics. You will use the five and three quarter inch squares in the background fabric, fabric B and fabric C. Draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the fabric C squares. As shown here. Pin right sides together fabric B and the background fabric. Sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of the drawn line. Cut along the drawn line. As shown here. Press the seams towards fabric C. With right sides together, butt the seams together as shown. Draw a line across the diagonal. Pin and sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of the drawn line. Then cut along the drawn line. As shown here. Repeat to make four hourglass units. Trimming the hourglass units with a speciality ruler. I use the triangle square up ruler by Eleanor Burns. Place your unit under the ruler, 
lining up the stitch line at the four and a half inch line on the ruler and line the center line on the ruler with your vertical stitch line. Trim along both sides. As shown here. Trimming the hourglass unit with a standard ruler. Place the unit under the ruler, lining the diagonal line on the ruler with the seam. Line the intersecting seam at the halfway point of the finished size of the unit. So half a four and a half is two and a quarter. Trim along the top and right edges. As shown here. Rotate the unit around and line up the diagonal and the halfway point. Trim along the top and right edges. As shown here. Repeat with all hourglass units. Making the Mary's Triangles unit. Use the rectangles as shown. Begin with the 5 inch strips. Join right sides together along the 5 inch edge. As shown here. Sew with a quarter inch seam and press the seams to one side. Turn the unit round. Line the ruler up to cut a strip that is two and a half inches wide. Rotate one of the units as shown. Pin right sides together and sew with a quarter inch seam. Before pressing, cut the seam allowance, not the stitching, at the halfway point. As shown, press the seams in opposite directions. Lay this unit next to the four and a half by five and a half inch piece. Place right sides together as shown. Rotate and lay the ruler on top of the unit. Line the 45 degree ruler line along the edge of the unit. The angle of the ruler must pass through the corner and the seam intersection. Draw a line along the edge of the ruler. Turn the unit round and repeat. Pin 
pin in place and sew on top of the drawn lines. Cut a quarter inch away from each line. Trim the unit to four and a half inches. When trimming the unit, make sure you mark that halfway point, two and a quarter inches is the midsection point. Now you can press your unit. Repeat to make four units. Block layout. Press your units and lay in the block layout. Pin the bottom two rows matching the points. Sew with a quarter inch seam. There's no need to press yet. Pin the top row units as shown. Press the seams open and return to the block layout. Pin and sew the right hand column to the centre column, matching the seams and points and sew with a quarter inch seam. To get perfect points on your quilt blocks, click the link above to go to my video on how to do this. Press your seams open and return to the block layout. Sew with a left hand column to the block with a quarter inch seam and return to the block layout. Press the seams open. Congratulations, you have made the Morning Star block. Here are some quilt options. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block. There is no sashing or borders, but the use of the white background fabric in a block allows the design and fabrics to stand out. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block placed on point. There is no sashing or borders, but you would need to add blocks in background fabric in between the blocks shown here with the stars. And use setting triangles around the edges, again shown here with the stars. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block but with sashing, cornerstones and borders. And finally, this is an illustration of a sampler quilt using some of the blocks from this quilt block series. The sashing in this quilt is in the white background fabric. The cornerstones and border is in a darker fabric to pop and frame the quilt. Want to learn more? Watch another one of my videos from the Quilt Block series. Click above to go to my playlist. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. More of these videos will be posted, so please tune in. Thank you for watching and bye for now.